Hey guys, waiting just a second to make sure everything is working. Get all my things together and all my ducks in a row, right? I'm going to be painting with you tonight just a quick cottage floral. And it's kind of a fun spring one to paint. It's easy to paint, and I'm going to kind of walk you through it uh, kind of quickly tonight, and we'll have some fun. You can either watch or you can grab uh, some paints and some brushes if you like. Uh, behind me is what we're painting right here, and I've got my setup a little bit different, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to see better. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my white canvas here to paint on. And then I have my cottage floor right here. So we're going to see. Now I've also got a uh, microphone that I'm going to be wearing. And this is new. So I'm not sure if that will help or not. But I heard that last time was a little hard for somebody to hear. So we will just we'll try this out, right? We'll just try it out. So let me get uh, things just situated for a minute on the live. And you guys take a moment and you can get your paints if you want, or you can just watch, just relax, grab you a cup of coffee, something to drink, and just watch while I paint too. So let me step over here just a minute. Okay, guys, it's kind of like watching. You can't always watch the comments on one area, so you have to have something else. And so now, I hopefully, uh, I can watch the comments too. So if you're stepping on, please tell me your name and where you're from. And uh, I'm going to start uh, painting there. I'm going to show you here the color scheme I've got. It's just a uh, the red and white brown, green, yellow, orange, and a blue. And we're gonna do some uh, mixing of paints, which is what I like to do. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do this. And uh, also, what you're gonna get for this is you get a free step-by-step. -step. So if you think, after we get painting here for a while, and you think you want a free step-by-step -step that I will send to you to tell you exactly what I'm doing, then put in the comments section, free painting, and then uh, I will send that to you. So I will do this when it's over. So let me get this loaded here. Get this worked out okay. And then I'm gonna start painting, guys. And I'll just show you how fun this is. I'm gonna start and I'm gonna use my half inch flat brush first. I've already painted my canvas white on the background. Let me move it up for you so you will be able to see. Try to get the lights right. And what we're gonna do is sketch out. And uh, you can see this one over here. And I basically have five flowers here. I'm leaving a little space at the top. And it's coming all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. So about, um, oh, about an inch from the bottom, I'm gonna kinda draw a little check mark here. And then, see how the vase is here? Uh, it's just basically a rectangle, and I'm gonna come up. Now, I am using a watercolor pencil. You can use a regular pencil if you'd like, but tonight I'm gonna go ahead. If you use a regular pencil, you need to do it lightly, and the watercolor pencil will work out just fine to sketch, too. So see, when you're sketching, you think of things as in shapes, right? So uh, I've got a rectangle here, a rectangle here, and basically a square here. And that is going to be the tabletop plus your base, right? So then you want to kind of proportion things. And like I said, this is gonna be a quick one tonight. So we're gonna uh, go through it. And like I said, if you want the, the step-by-step -step guide, 
then uh, just put free painting and I will send it to you. So we're gonna start with this larger flower here and basically it's up here and I'm just kind of doing a kind of a sloppy circle right here. And I've got this one right here. I'm gonna do another one like that. There's no uh, right or wrong here. Another one here. I'm gonna come below that. I'm gonna do another one here and a smaller one right here. And it comes down, these come down a little bit onto the vase. So now up here, I'm just sketching real quickly. Uh, put a stem in here. Here's a little sloppy circle there. Here's a little sloppy circle here and one here. Okay, then down over here, I'm doing the same thing, doing the stem. And I've just kind of got some wiggly little sloppy circles as I call them. Those are kind of like just little flower buds. Now we're gonna wait on the uh, putting in the, uh, the leaves. We're gonna go ahead and do the flowers first. And what I am doing, let me show you guys. See, I've got my red and uh, my white, and I am just gonna mix that to create a pretty pink. See how I've done that? Just got a, a light pink here. And I'm going to take that light pink and I am base coating, just painting that whole sloppy flower. That's kind of the underpainting of the flower. And I'm using my half inch brush So we're doing all of them like this, even though the painting has some that has a little bit of orange and a little bit of a yellow, that's okay. I'm kind of mixing as I'm going here. You can do these, I call them cottage flowers they're kind of an impressionistic flower. Uh, they remind me kind of a, like a little cottage rose. Like I said, this is a quick painting we're doing tonight, Friday night, we'll just have some fun. Okay, and I'm just kind of dabbing here a little bit on the small buds. Please tell me where you guys are from when you're coming on. And if you like this painting, I will uh, put a comment for the free painting, or the, not the free painting, the free step-by-step -step for you. Okay, so far right now, we've got strictly just the uh, base coat here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump down and do this bottom part, which is uh, basically a kind of a golden yellow. I could use some of my yellow and uh, add a little brown to it, or I can just do this here and add kind of a, uh, just a golden yellow color. And there's just I'm base coating that in, putting the background in it. Now I always recommend everybody to go ahead and paint the sides to match. As you never know, people will hang this Give it as a gift, keep it themselves. Of course, these canvases are uh, inexpensive that I use for uh, tutorials. Okay. 
So a lot of times people don't, uh, sometimes people do uh, frame them if they're a work of art that they really have liked and they've enjoyed uh, painting or it's a gift that they've been giving. So while we're working down here on uh, kind of the tabletop, when I did this one here, I just kind of wanted to do a little hodgepodge of a uh, texture. So I, after I put in my uh, yellow, I just kind of, uh, just kind of a few little strokes of orange here and there, up and down. Make sure you do the same on the sides and the bottom, but right now I'm not gonna do the bottom. You don't need to watch that, but I do recommend going ahead and see and doing the bottom too, just like you would the sides. And uh, then I'm gonna dip my half inch brush again in a little bit of the brown and just kind of stroke across the top. It's, it's not meant to be perfect. This is a quick painting, kind of an abstract looking painting. And then I kind of brain it down some and kind of uh, just hodgepodge it again with the, the brown. See how I'm doing that? And then you can get a little too much if you, you gotta kind of get to a stopping point. But uh, it's however you like. This one's a little darker than that one, that's okay. It kind of uh, gives it a kind of a marbly look. The more you work it, the more it's going to be more evenly uh, distributed with the paint. If I wanted to bring any more orange in it, I could always go over it again a little bit because this is working wet on wet. This is acrylic paint, dries quickly. So when you're doing something like that, you do have to kind of work quick to work quickly with it. Okay hey guys, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on uh, this flower at the top. And the top one is, uh, we've base coated all, all of them as you can see in a light pink. And uh, then I'm going to use a little bit of a yellow. And I'm using uh, kind of a C strokes in this, kind of a, I'm still using my flat. And I'm, see how I'm using these C strokes in the paintings? Not a lot, but a few. And they kind of start, give you the look of petals. This is very simple way of doing it. And of course we have um, a few more things to do with them, but uh, this is kind of a, a, just a start here. I'm just doing like a C stroke. So I do a couple of them, two or three of them with the yellow. And then I'm gonna do a couple of them with an orange, the others bring in a little bit brighter color. Now I could use a round brush for this, but right now, just doing it quickly, setting everything up, I'm working on a half inch brush still. While I'm down here, I'm just gonna touch around, tap, tap, tap a little bit of the orange on these buds. I'm kind of leaving it like that. Now, if you're on and you would like the step-by-step, -step, I have it all written out for you, and I can send this to you if you put free painting or free step-by-step, -step, just anything you'd like. I, I would know that you were, would like this. Okay, guys, we're gonna go back into uh, the pink again. This is gonna be a little darker shade of pink than what we originally put in the flowers. And as you can see, I have two 
that's got some pink, more pink in them. These have kind of got some yellow and orange, and uh, I'm uh, trying to add a little bit, and I need a little darker, a bit more red in that. It's fun playing with paint. You just, I mean, some people just go ahead and buy the uh, paint that's uh, already, you know, made in the little bottles, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, sometimes I like to just mix my paint. And um, now look at those strokes that I'm doing. That's, that's real important. Can you kind of see they're just like, kind of like little comma strokes. And uh, you want to leave, when you do these, you want to leave still some of that underlying pink showing through peeking around the corner. And the idea is to try to get a few layers and uh, then you have all kinds of colors showing through. See, when you see this top one here, look at the colors that you see in that flower. And all of them are like that, the orange. You see some white, you see orange, you see some little bit of pink, uh, maybe a little bit of peach color because of the blending of the colors. Same way here, except a little bit more pink. The yellow has got a little bit of a uh, lighter yellow, a little bit of uh, white, and some uh, golden yellow. So they're all just uh, depending on how much that you want to uh, blend it, actually. So I'm just touching again a little bit of the buds. I'll wash my brush out here. Add a little bit of uh, orange back down to this one, too. And see, all the colors kind of start blending a little bit. Now, like I said, these are just cabbage, what I call cabbage roses. And they're more uh, softer. You just do a layer of colors. Sometimes you can wait and let them dry, put another layer. And sometimes I just go ahead and... Uh, I just mix around while the underlying paint is still damp. I'm adding a little darker color here. I'm gonna do that also here. And uh, you have to be careful. You don't want to kind of muddy your colors and that's when you get too much, too carried away. And it, it's easy to do. <laughs> it's real easy to do sometimes but we don't want to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of that yellow, kind of that golden color in this one too. A little bit up here. But look at the motion that I'm using. It's just kind of like a little comma. Like I said, you can use a round brush, a larger round brush, but I, I thought I would just kind of show you a little bit this way. Now I'm doing a little bit of the uh, golden color on all of them. Just kind of tone it down just a little bit. Wash my brush out a bit, and then I'm gonna touch a little bit more here on around the little bud and see how the colors are just starting to kind of blend together, mix together. And you can kind of just, however you want to uh, put these colors, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. I do like to kind of put the, most of the time, I put like the darker colors a little bit at the bottom to uh, give it a little bit of a shading part, but that's up to you. These are kind of blowing in the wind. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry just a little bit and we're gonna jump down here to the vase. And the vase I've got by using a medium blue and I'm just going to paint this best as I can underneath those flowers.
It's kind of a bright painting. And cheery. It's spring painting. I love teaching others how to paint. Had a painting class last night. Had some ladies that had never painted before. And they were so creative. They did such a good job. Last night I painted at a, uh, just a super cute little home de decor store named Olive Grace. And uh, we had a good time, good time. Okay, I'm gonna let that, that dry. Grab me a little drink of water here. Sorry about that, you kind of get a little dry when you're talking. Okay, uh, the vase, while it's still a little damp, I had a little darker color now. Um, sometimes that works, sometimes you just need to let it dry. Sometimes you can kind of uh, shade wet on wet. But when it starts picking up, the paint from underneath, then you just need to, you need to stop. Pick up a little bit more paint here. So what's everybody doing tonight? I know I just Thought I, uh, I just thought this afternoon I'd come on here real quick. Didn't give you much warning. But, you know, sometimes it's just a spur of a moment thing. And you just feel like going ahead and trying to do some painting. Just have some fun. Friday night. Where are you guys from? Don't know if anybody has put. Have you put down where you're from? You guys tell me where you're from. It's always fun to see that. And uh, I'm not sure if I got all my comments are going here. So I hope I... Uh... Need to... Uh... You guys comment for me. Comment for me. Let's see if they're working. Well, I'm going to leave that right now. And uh, just kind of blending up and down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave that. And we're going to jump back up to our flowers. And I'm going to start getting a little bit more of the... Uh, actual color in there. So my top flower, as you can see over here, it's kind of a, a lighter uh, pink, a lot of it is. So I'm gonna start adding that in. Basically the same method. Just kind of do some uh, C strokes or comma strokes, whatever you wanna call them, here and there, and it gives the illusion of some petals. Like I said, you have to kind of be careful that you don't um, get it too muddy. There's a point where you just really need to stop, and that's kind of sometimes hard to do. <laughs> but uh, let's go down here. Do the same thing. And this one kind of comes down a little bit. And see, I picked up that blue because I didn't wait. 
for it to dry. So I'm going to take some of that off. That's an oops. Get in a hurry. It does doing good. Lesson learned, right? I'm going to leave that there. Sometimes these lights in here make things dry quicker and sometimes they don't. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that there. Now this other one here, I'm gonna run into a little bit more of a, uh, I'm gonna add some white to this to try to get it toned down some. And when you start adding the white to them, that's going to when they, in my opinion, start uh, kind of looking a little bit more like the, the cottage flowers to me. But see, just kind of just think about where the petals might be. And they're coming down and around. And if you notice, also think about the direction that your flower's going when you're painting these. Um, like, for example, this one here is kind of aiming that way. This one here is pretty well straight up. This one's got a little bit to left angle. This one here is going a little bit to the right. This one here is just kind of facing you. So they're all a little uh, different in that area that way too you don't want to you don't want to point all the flowers the same direction right looks a little funny when that happens just doesn't look as natural hope everybody's having a good night I'm gonna touch a little bit here with this one, kind of a lighter white. These are just a tapping, just a kind of a fun little bud, mixture of colors. Dipping my white a little bit again and just continuing that same process of making some C strokes. If your brush gets to where it's not wanting to move very well, paint doesn't seem to flow from it, then uh, go ahead and uh, add a little bit of, of uh, white and uh, water i mean i'm sorry a little bit of water add a little bit more pink to this one i kind of lost some of that pink in it so i'm going to add a little bit more in between these petals i'm kind of doing this fast for tonight just a quick quick tutorial just a fun Friday evening painting. Okay. A little bit more orange. Again, softly. Touch a little bit more here and there. Kind of covered up some of that orange, just kind of however, whatever colors that you kind of want to stand out the most. See, I'm, I'm not 
I'm not being too careful about uh, my brush. I'm actually using a lot of colors within each other. Not washing my brush out completely each time. I think that's kind of fun. Now, um, I'm going to add a darker shadow here. You'll have to let me know if you kind of like these quick tutorials. Um, some people don't have a lot of time, but they like to paint something that's kind of quick. And um, let me know. Let me know if you uh, like this. Put it in the comments to uh, let me know if you like the uh, quick, kind of quick tutorials. And uh, I might do more of those. Okay, what I'm going to do next is, while this kind of black kind of dries a little bit, we're going to jump up and do some leaves. And I have like a uh, kind of a forest green here, and I'm going to mix it. I'm going to make me a little mixture right here of a lighter green. I think spring myself, I, I think lighter greens. And uh, so we are going to, I'm going to fill in, when you're doing a painting and you kind of have your basic, uh, flowers and we're going to jump and do some leaves now and you're wanting balance in your painting so I'm going to put some here and uh, they're just going to be still the same thing kind of little abstract little leaves nothing these are a little lighter than these over here lighter in color but that's that's okay it's fine there's not a right or wrong in this uh, it's kind of whatever you would prefer. It's your painting, as I tell my uh, students that I help teach them to paint. I have a uh, painting membership also. And um, they, those uh, girls now know that they can be creative use their own creativity that I just help guide them. And they can come up, I'm so proud of them, because some of them have never painted before, and they are just learning so much and just doing so good with their painting skills. So proud of them, they've, they've come a ways, they've come a ways. Now see, this one's a little lower than this, so I, I'm going to probably put a leaf here and it's going to look different than this one because this one doesn't reach the tabletop. This one kind of looks like it touches the tabletop. I'm fine with that. Any painting you do, it, you know, you're not going to make it exactly the same. I've got a lighter kind of version on this one. A uh, lighter version. This one's a little bit... Uh, you know, darker, this little bit lighter in shades. Now, instead of a liner, I'm just going to go ahead and do this with my brush. I'm still using my flat half-inch brush. Just letting it stand up on its end and kind of making some little ferns. You can use a brush in many ways. If you paint, you know that. I even use the handle of the brush sometimes for polka dots. Now remember, if you're jumping on, tell me where you're from. And then also, if you want the step-by-step -step sent to you, then please put in the comments free, either free step-by-step, -step, free painting. I, I'll know what you mean. But you need to put that on there, please. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. It might not be dry enough to put a couple down here, but 
like I said, we're kind of doing this. It's a quick painting. And that was the idea for tonight. If you like the quick paintings, then please let me know. I'll be glad to do some more. We could do one, some like under an hour. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put the centers of the flowers. And I'm just kind of touching and dabbing and touching with a dark brown. Put them at different angles so they don't look like they're all facing the same way. I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, darker brown, kind of the base of these. And there again, I'm just, I'm just dabbing, just dabbing a little bit of color in there. Nothing fancy at all. I need to not let those little buds look like they're in midair. So we've got to add a little, little bit of a uh, stem. You could do some more stems if you like coming out. I kind of think they're kind of fun to do. Plus it adds a little bit of um, just something to the Something to the painting adds more depth to it. So, which do you like? Do you like kind of the darker looking, deeper values, or you like, or do you like a little bit of the lighter values? The leaves are a little bit lighter too than the original, and uh, it's kind of fun to show you, you know. Uh, different ways you can add a little bit more paint like with the green I added a little bit more white tonight I'm just touching a little bit of highlight of a, a lighter shade on the top of those leaves now we painted tonight a lot of wet on wet it's just kind of blends itself almost like a watercolor I'd add a little darker green inside this center, and I'm just see if you can just see I'm tapping. It would be a little darker because it's it's inside there. And um, I can always just change it up some too and add a little darker value for the bottom of the leaves. You come in like that. You can always do that for a few of them if you like. That one's not going to probably show up a whole lot here. And see that just adds a little bit more to it. Add a little bit here. Don't want it that to drip though. a little bit here just a you know here and there and see that adds something completely different than the original painting real quick see how quick that did that look how that changed it So, as you can see, kind of the highlight, it's made to look like a uh, kind of an old type of a uh, base. And what I'm going to use is a palette knife here. And you can use an old credit card. Uh, you could do the same thing with a credit card. But I'm just touching my white paint with the palette knife. Kind of scraping some of that because I don't want a lot of paint on my palette knife. And I'm going to just follow along and go down. I'm going to try to stay on the vase as much as I can. 
and it just kind of skips here and there and creates a little visual texture. It's pretty smooth, so it's only visual texture. It's not, you don't really uh, feel any texture to it. And uh, you can also do your palette knife if you want and do a little bit on the leaves, which I do like that. I do a lot of palette knife paintings and uh, I like giving classes on that also because not very many people have painted with a palette knife. It's different. In fact, I didn't pick it up till later. Now that's a lot of white there, but uh, it's kind of something fun. You can do it on the flowers also if you want. I didn't on these here, but just kind of showing you what you can do. And then our quick painting turns into longer painting, right? <laughs> Can't get me stopped. Well, guys, that our quick painting, I think we finished. Uh, just see how fast we did that. It wasn't uh, very, didn't take very long. And uh, you got to see how to do that. Now, if you want the step-by-step, -step, then I will be glad to send that to you. Please put on the comments uh, free painting or free step-by-step, -step, and I will give that to you guys. I'll give you the link for that. So, uh, thank you for joining me. I'm glad you did. I'm Vicki Jean with Vicki Jean Wilson Art. And you can find me on uh, Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. And I just started. See, tech is not my thing. Techy stuff is not my thing. But I just started a YouTube channel. So check it out. Check it out, guys. And uh, I have one video. But that's a start, you know? You got to start somewhere. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining. Remember, if you want the step-by-step -step for this painting, then uh, put in the comments free painting or free step-by-step. -step. So you guys have a rest of a good evening and a rest of a good weekend. And uh, much love to you. Bye-bye.